Hey everyone, welcome back to an another Life for Teens video. Um, I only ever do these when I feel like a little bit of an impulse to do them. I don't just bang them out for no reason. Uh, I, I want to talk about drugs. So you're a teen, there's this big world out there, stuff to do, all your mates, and probably my son is an interesting one. So when he was, um, he's 18 now, and he's, he was like, he used to say to me, oh, you know, my mates are starting to take drugs, I'm not gonna do that, not whatever. And then he just totally followed them. And then he literally, he was on a great career path, like he's photography, filming, and then he just disappeared for like almost a year. He's come back now. But it's, um, it's interesting how it took his focus away partying. So I don't know, he didn't tell me what he was taking, but I sort of knew. So I don't know if many of you teens know my past, but when I speak at seminars, um, quite often it's my story that gets people interested. And yeah, I used to be a drug addict many years ago and um, ended up homeless and in the gutter. And all of these types of things that go with it, it's like quite a lengthy story. And sometimes people come up after the seminars and go, oh, is that actually true, what you were saying? I was like, no, I'm making it up. <laughs> yeah, of course it was. And Often mums and parents and things would, would come up and say, oh, my son's, you know, a drug addict and he can't, you know, he's stuck at the moment, doesn't have any motivation, can't get ahead and whatever. I, I just want to quickly talk about drugs, not to preach at you, probably just to share some energy around it. You might be starting to explore these things and I get it. I really understand it because all your friends are doing it. It's cool and it quite often starts off here, like it might be some pot and then you're smoking pot, having a few laughs with your friends and you know getting stoned and off your head and then it will go to caps and pills and then it will go to speed, cocaine or ice and it will go from snorting it or eating it, snorting it, maybe end up at injecting it like most drug addicts end up doing. And what happens is, you start to find no pleasure in the world. And you find the feeling of the drugs is like cool. You know, it's like that few hours of nothing apart from feeling amazing. And your like energy raises for that time. So you're like a heightened sense of energy. And then you really like it. And then you come down, and the down part is the worst part come down and then you're back into life and everything else is boring so what do you want to do Friday night comes you want to go up again be amazing and be like superhero on the weekend taking these drugs and life's fantastic but really you got no money your job's suffering your like your personality's changing your energy's changing I've had that many friends kill themselves because they've been out partying year after year after year, lose total direction in life, on a downer one day, shoot, shoot their head off or hang themselves. Can't tell you the amount of people that have done that, and I, including my sister. And I, I think to myself, imagine how different their life would have been if they never started taking drugs. Drugs will take away your motivation. Drugs will take away your focus. It will take away your direction and it, it will literally give you an altered sense of life. It won't in the beginning. It's all cool for the first couple of years, few years. But then what happens is you start to depend on that feeling because we are energy beings and how we feel is attractive to us. So it's like sitting here now in nature. I don't take drugs anymore, thank goodness. But this feeling here is amazing. Like being around this. I find, I find this is my high now. And, and I've learned to live life appreciating the things rather than trying to manufacture the feeling through, through like drugs and you know, that sort of stuff. So what I'm saying to you now is I get you young and I get you wanna have fun, I do. And, but you can literally change the direction of your life permanently. And I'm talking from first-hand experience. And if you're in that space at the moment where you are partying pretty hard, 
what I highly recommend that you do, and by the way, it starts off with alcohol. It starts off drinking. I don't drink, rarely ever drink. And then it's like, it starts there and builds like a staircase. And before you know it, it's like the frog in the boiling water. If you put a frog in a pan, just in normal temperature, and you turn the heat up, it will actually stay in there and not move, even when it starts boiling around it. And the, after a while, when the water, water starts boiling, the frog will explode. It won't notice it because it stays there and the temperature is just boiling around it. And that's exactly what drug addiction is like. So if you're there right now a little bit lost or you're in that phase of when you're partying, I would highly recommend that you get interested in something and you make success your focus. You make creating a life your focus. It might sound boring now when you're 18, you're like, who cares? I'm so young, like, bloody hell, what does this guy know? If I did what I know now at 18, I would be 10 times ahead of where I am. I'm doing pretty good, but I would be 10 times ahead of where I am and I would have established myself a lot earlier. And I think, sure, all those experiences made me what I am today, but I can tell you there's a, there's a lot of people that are still nowhere because of those decisions earlier. They never got out of that pattern because life becomes too hard. I'd love to do heaps more stuff on drugs and you know all that whatever. So ask questions if you want around this or I'm even happy to talk to you on the phone if you're stuck at the moment and can't get out of that drug cycle. Here's my advice to you. If you're sitting there right now watching this or your parent is watching this, and you're stuck in the drug grips and you will never change you will never change what you're doing ever unless you really really want to because you've got to want to change before change will happen when your mum tells you hey, stop taking drugs stop partying so hard you won't change because you're like I'm not ready you have to be ready and you can, you can do it at two different spaces. You can decide now that enough's enough. You're not gonna turn into that person down that path. You can see what's gonna happen and you're gonna make success your focus. Success, because success can be a drug too, but a better drug. You're gonna make success your focus or you're gonna hit rock bottom. And if you look at my sister and I, rock bottom, she didn't make it. I did, but it was hard. And if you don't know my story, you'll see it somewhere along the line, but it was full on. And I ended up in places that you probably can't talk about on video. So I'm trying to help you right now. Drugs will get you nowhere. Success will get you everywhere. And you've got to want to do it before anything will change. Thanks guys. Look forward to seeing you on the next video.